and uh, we have uh, Willie Roy on the line. Let me. Uh, hello. Yeah. Um. Good morning, uh, Willie Roy. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, thanks for your time, my uncle. We appreciate it. Yeah, I'm um, more yes. Thank you, Jim. Please, uh, there's a conversation we're having over here, and I want to be very uh, straight point to it. Um, is it true that there was uh, a, a sudden collaboration that was supposed to have come from the camp of Tyrus Riley and uh, Teddy Riley and uh, Ari Kelly that they wanted to do something with Stoneboy that you didn't make it happen? No, uh, well, that, well, we're, we're looking at our portfolio. Uh, so, uh, sorry, sir, uh, your your position, and can you um, adjust yourself a bit for us? It's, it's very difficult hearing you clearly. Okay, is it okay now? Yeah, I think it's okay now. We can go ahead. Okay, the, it's just not uh, basically straight up with that. They, they were looking at Xylophone portfolio, and they chose Stone Boy to do collaboration with. You know? That that is a, a choice of artists they wanted to uh, do a collaboration. With. That that was it. But uh, we're still waiting. Not even uh, um, we're still waiting. You know, when they decide, this, it's, it's not like immediately that it uh, it happens. Well, when you say you're still waiting, uh, in what sense? Uh, what agreement did they have with you that in the waiting process is supposed to happen and all? No, it's not dead. It's, it's like. When they listen to your portfolio, they choose the kind of artist they want to work with. So when they, after they've made a choice, then you put the next level of now going to work, spend, you know, I make arrangement for scheduling of studio time and all those things. So it's not like they, the moment they say no, then the next video is the studio recording. It doesn't happen like that. So we are still waiting for their schedules, you know, and then they'll give us a time when we can go to the state and record. No, so it's not dead. It's just that this is a choice they made, that they want to start with Stone Boy. Okay. But it's so, not dead. So apart from you and now um, Logic, who happens to have also seen that conversation, um, which other member of the Xylophone music is aware of this? <laughs> I'm the Again. Okay. So I negotiate. I'm the ENR. I deal with the repertoires. So I negotiate, and when it's ready, before I put it on the board. So unfortunately... Um, the, when the conversation came, um, this guy Logic was, was at my office. So I'm even surprised he would go out there and talk about it when the matter is just it's just the beginning of the process. Uh, uh, how long? How long has this conversation? Or when did this conversation happen? Just about two months ago. Two months you ago. Know? Yeah. Will you, uh, uh, Logic says it's not true. When? He says it's not true. It's more than two months ago. Okay, fine. But the point is that you, because oh, no, said, uh, Uncle Willie Roy, let's 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 establish the fact. I don't want us to say fine. What I'm saying is that Logic, who is in the studio and made that comment, is saying that it's been more than two months ago. Is it true okay. or not? So it doesn't matter whether it's two. No, months no, 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 no. And that's that's the emphasis that I want to play so place on this interview. Point? So I'm asking what you, no, because is, there are two contradicting comments here. He's saying uh -huh. it's been more than two months, and you say it's two months. So is what he's saying true or not? Let's let's clarify that. Then we know so, we're making. How progress. many months is it? How many months is it? He's there. How many months is it? March in the month it's of March, March before we launched our association. We launched okay, in June. Okay, fine. Okay, so it's months. No problem. That's it's what, months. But what is your purpose of? I don't have. So so so, Uncle Willie Roy, what, what did did you did you really? Um, I, I don't know, but I, I, I want to find out if you, you wanted to um, change the dates by saying that it was just two months ago, uh, just that, to make a point. That, I'm, I'm, I want to find out. Listen, I receive too many, I do too many negotiations and, or with repertoires. So as I'm talking about, the most important thing is that the deal is not dead. We're just waiting for them to give us schedule. As a matter of fact, some of them, the producers want to come next month. They've bought their tickets and they are coming next month. So I don't even understand the purpose of this conversation. I think the person who is sitting in the studio revealing this uh, behind the scene work is the person who should be questioned. Because this is on the ground. So if you go there and sit there and talk about as if it's cancelled, it's not it's a process. You understand? So I don't even understand this kind of conversation when we are doing background work and you are coming to sit on the radio and talk about it. Okay, Uncle Willie Roy. Must be ready. 
uh, Uncle Willie Roy, let me find out. Um, in terms of relationship wise, even if it hadn't matured, did you find it uh, a, a bit okay to talk to Stone Boy, maybe on the low that oh, there's something like this coming up, and so we we'll want to you know let you know about it if you Listen, did. You don't talk if... to your you don't talk to your artist until the deal is set. When it's set, then you say this guy, these guys are ready. You don't just say, hey, somebody just see you and say, I like that, then you go and kill your artist. That's how I do that. You understand? As an A and R, you push repertoires. And when people are interested, you make sure that the thing is ready before you get your artist involved. Every news you want to tell the artist, no, that's not how it's done. It's been since March. What have you done as the manager, A and R manager, to as it were, establish conversation with these people again just to make a follow up? I just told you that some of them are coming this uh, next month. They've got their ticket, they've got a the schedule, they're coming on the Some of them, some of them asking who and who? The, we were looking for Grammy producers. We're dealing with gram, producers, engineers and producers who are doing Grammys. And these are the people that were interested. So, your, what are you saying? Than this, no, I, say, I, I don't, want to, argue, I don't want to argue with you already. I don't, te I don't tell lie on radio. Fine, whatever you want to say. Uncle Will Roy, let me let me find out. So, what's the way forward? Uh, the way forward is that when the producers come and what, the, I'm not no, 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 they it, are here. I'm talking about the artists who showed interest, not the producers uh, we're talking what about. Are, the, 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 the the Kellys that showed interest. What's the way forward? Yeah, with they that? are producing. They are producing. They are they are not showing interest in just singing. On. They are showing interest in producing these artists. Do you understand? They are, so they, they, it's not a, like collaboration like the, no, that's not the time. They want to produce and come up with an album that is worth the Grammys. It's a thing, but I'm even disappointed in your, the guy sitting there. Um, before you go, uh, let me ask, if you watch Shatawale in the picture, would you have told him? The thing is that this, they chose uh, Stone Boy. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that per relationships, if it was Shatawale in this picture, would you have told him on a low key, if you like? That thing is not ready. How can I tell him? There are a lot of things I haven't told Shatawale that is cooking. So what do I have to tell an artist? I don't have to tell an artist until it's ready. That's how it works. Yeah, and I don't go and say, hey, I've just took your song to China. I just took your song to Japan. No, you do the work. And when it's ready, before you get the artist involved. So what are some of the things that you're yet to tell the uh, uh, Shatawale about? When it's ready, I'll let you. I won't, because the, right now, if I tell you now, it's go over the world. But there are bigger things. There are bigger things that, uh, you know, the point is that we are all looking at the Grammys. Therefore, we're working towards that, if the, the thing is leaked. So we're, we're talking to major producers and major artists to work with. That's all. So this one, mm. is, uh, I'm even disappointed in. Oh, on the lighter side, you exited the studios when St uh, Stone Boy came in. Uh, what, what happened? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to banter with uh, my own artist. I just needed to let him say what he really wanted to do, say. Do you, do you have a problem with your own artist? Do you have a problem with him? That you have to go out of the studio? No, I don't have a problem with him going out of the studio. I wanted to give him a chance to talk. Do you understand? So well, he spoke, and I heard him. So I've decided that I'm going to be more, you know, listen to him more than, the, you know, the, before, uh, what we used to, the kind of state we have to. So it's a good thing. So, but it was wise for me to leave him to talk. That's all. Well, were you at the concert over the weekend? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Oh, okay. And some of the comments that he made about you, um, would you want him to apologize for some of the things that he said? Or you, they were no, just no, in, no. in the right places that he no, mentioned? He, he, he was right. All the things he said, they, 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 he's speaking from the heart. So you have to let him speak. You understand? Then you listen and see ones, not the, the wrong ones. All the good things that he said in the long talk, take them and then you advise yourself. And I just told you I've advised myself and I'm going to pay more attention. It's easier for him to talk like that. Interestingly, I'm, I'm getting reports that you didn't show up at the concert. I, I don't know how true that is, but that's the report oh, I'm not, getting it, right now. It's not true. I was there. I was even there before the show. And I where, 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 where exactly were you? Because a lot of people claim they didn't see you there. Ask Elon Bini. Ask those that saw me. The only problem is that you didn't see xylophone uh, tart cast. Which side, which side were you, sir? I was behind the stage. Behind and the I was, stage. Um, I was also at the, at the back. I was all over the place. Indeed, you were all over the place. And as it is, um, you've been all over the place. We're, we're grateful for your time this morning here on the show. Yeah. But don't invite people to come and leak.
company secrets, okay? It's not interesting. People like that, they will never... Next time I will start you from my office when there's a serious conversation. People like that, they will never sit in my meetings. Again. It, was of, it was of the interest of the, uh, the, the industry and the no, that's, artists that's involved. So, so uh, uh, sir, 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 sir. Well, if this, we talk this about is, everything that happens, then we wouldn't have any. Uh, over the past, over, over the past it. years, we've spoken about everything that has happened in the industry. So it is important that we speak about this too. I'm sorry, okay. sir. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think that we can, we, we, we did no wrong with that. Man, Many thanks for your time. This man, you want leak, leak things, but I'm disappointed. Next time, you won't get a chance to sit in my office. I'm grateful for your yeah, time, you sir. <laughs> All right, bye. Great. Um, that was Willie Roy this morning here on the show, and I think this is where we'll have to say goodbye on the show. Yeah. Uh, um, Willie Roy has come up, but everything he said, he doesn't really add up to me. I, I, like I said, I still stand with logic. I don't trust what Willie Roy is saying. And like you asked him, if we were shattered, would he have done the same? And he was